welcome to the video ladies and gentlemen we're going to start a new series today with daisy modding and we're going to kick off with something very basic just retexturing an item of clothing like a hoodie and in today's episode we will go through the whole process of unpacking a texture editing all the way to getting it working on the workshop for everybody else to use this was also recorded while I live streamed this tutorial, so some people have got a head start on this, but this video is for those that missed it and those to call back to what they saw on the stream. Leave any comments in the comment section below or links will be in the description below, and I'll see you peeps next time. First off is locate your files in Daisy. So I hope this doesn't mess it up because I'm running the experimental now, but you want to go to your Daisy directory, add-ons, and in here will be your PBOs, which will have all of your textures, models for all items in game. And we were doing a hoodie. So let's go to tops, which is where all your tops will be located in your Daisy files, in your common Daisy Steam directory, common Daisy add-ons. And you want PBO manager, which uh, ooh, is on Armaholic, I believe. If you just search PBO manager, you'll be able to find it for, for the YouTubers. I'll put it in the description of the video when this goes to YouTube. But once you've got it, install it and you can open PBOs and you can see what's inside. So if we go in here, that's the models, P3D. Data is the textures, the PAA files. So if we go down, we can see the armband texture. We go down blouse, bomber jacket. So you can do whatever texture you want once you've, you're in here, but we're going to just do uh, hoodies and, uh, as an example. So if we go down and find the red hoodie again, uh, I have already got all these done, but I'm, I'm doing it from the start. So that hoodie red co PAA. And all you can do then, or you want, want to do it, is uh, is right click, drag out, copy here, and it'll put the PAA there, which is our texture. And then you can close that for now. So we have our texture out, but now it's a PAA and we can't do anything with that. We need to make it a, uh, a PNG. So what we want to do is then we'll go to our Daisy tools, which you can download on Steam in your tools section daisy tools and you get loads of cool tools to do loads of good modding things with daisy go to that directory bin but today we're going to need image to paa text view which will open up this window we drag in our paa for the hoodie and bam there's our texture there's our texture look at that it looks good right but we still need to save as and uh just change the extension to PNG. We'll save it on our desktop. Just like that. And we can open it now and it's a normal PNG, which we can open in Photoshop. So let me open Photoshop quick. So now we want to drag that PNG into Photoshop to edit. Right, there we go. So we can zoom in a little bit, get a bit closer look. And what we want to do is separate all the details. So like the zip, and things like that because you know if we if we just simply uh let's just go to my uh assets and we go into hoodie i've got all these textures that i got you can get these from texture websites um these are hoodies i made previously for cuddles and lukage and d um so if we just uh drag which one should we drag on we'll, we'll do a red camo okay for now so if we just drag that on as you can see it's just covering everything up you can't see anything. That'll look shit in game if we save that like that. That'll look proper shit, wouldn't it? We just did that. Can even make it an overlay so you can kind of see details behind it. But it still looks shit. That's going to look proper poo in game. So what we will do is we'll open up my other template, which is this. And as you can see, we've got our camo there. And what I've done here is cut out the sleeves, cut out the actual hoodie part itself. The sleeves are separate because what we need to do is rotate the texture 90 degrees on the sleeves because they're going to be vertically down our body and on the texture itself they're still horizontal but when they're on and the character they're going to be flipped 90 degrees and down here so the texture will look messed up uh, if it's all the same orientation so i've separated there the sleeves rotated that texture 90 degrees added a layer mask for those sleeves and what i've done is cut out all the details so if we look that should be the zip See, I'm, I'm making the zip disappear and come back. You can see it would have been hid by the texture if I didn't cut all the details out and put them on top of the layer. If you know Photoshop, you don't need me to go through this. It's just all separated the texture so it's easy to do. And then now this is like this, right? Um, I can show you actually. I'll, I'll, I'll texture this in red camo. Why not? Why not? Let's do it in red camo. So we can delete this texture 
delete that texture and we're left with our base uh, which is all messed up because we've changed colors so if we turn these off we've got our original red hoodie just with the septic falcon on the back so if we enable that i've made it gray with desaturation so it's a gray base get that red texture again and we can drag that on it'll create a new layer as you can see my details are above you can see my my zip and stuff is, is above that so if we drag that all across it doesn't matter because it's uh drag that layer down there and that'll be just over the top of this right but now what we want to do is make a layer mask so if we click the texture press control and click the the actual hoodie part it outlines the hoodie that we want to just texture we don't want to texture the sleeves yet because we want to do the 90 degree spin and then we do a layer mask and bam look at that look at that it's only on what we've selected where we cut out our hoodie and then we can do overlay and it makes it uh, a little bit better can't really see the septic falcon but that's where these come in you can change the the brightness uh, we need to tweak them because obviously i did it with a different camo color so we were working with uh with red underneath which was making it different so we want to keep our gray base color with that so it's all similar so we can go here with a with a with a more worn camo or you can of course lower this to make it a little bit darker on the texture close that and we'll open this one again and we can go a little bit lower so if we go about say about 70 on both let's just double check this one make it 70 there we go we're, we're a nice color there for everything uh we can see septic falcon on the back all nice nice and then once you've done all that and you've got your details on top you can see everything looks nice it looks quite nice you see the buttons your zips uh, and everything so now we'll save that our camo our red camo okay and we'll save that to the desktop okay we'll close that because we might need it again in a minute uh, and then when there's our there's our red camo hoodie which we've just made from there from scratch so let us go and open our image to paa gui in our tools so that's daisy tools bin image to paa then open the gui drag in our png for our new camo which we've called our camo red camo and uh and then process files and it should put this on our desktop once it's processed um i think that's done so close and that should be it there let me grab it pull it over there we go our camo uh underscore co underscore paa i don't know why that's uh got another underscore there doesn't need it so we'll get rid of that and uh and then that that is that so then then we want to go into our camo test folder we made on our desktop we'll, we'll delete these for now because we don't need that that's old files that'll break it completely and there's our normal camo hoodie we'll delete that for now because we don't need that and then our red camo paa we just made we'll copy that into there into our, our data camo test in our folder on our desktop for camo test so we're going into camo test data camo test texture okay and then we want to make a config uh, dot cpp so if we make on the desktop new text document and then call the uh the dot txt rename it to cpp you'll get this file and then you want to open those with notepad plus uh, plus because you get to see all the details you know the color classes and things like that all shows up differently notepad plus plus i'll leave links in the description as well on the video for uh, notepad plus plus so so you guys that that are unaware it's free come on guys right now we need to change this because we uh we are missing um We've got the wrong colors here now because uh it's our camo so we'll just change the name a little bit to, to what it to what, what it actually is and this one here our camo uh our camo oh no our camo now this is the script you'll need for clothing if you want to add another piece of clothing you get rid of this last bracket and you add another one but it always has to end in triple brackets to close off that bit of script so we've got our camo there, a camo hoodie, a camo hoodie by Septic Falcon. That'll be in game. That was, uh, that's what it'll display. Um, these are just for different different parts, like I said earlier. So tops is what this will be. So we could get take in technically, th in theory, get rid of these and these and just have tops because that's all it'll be referenced into. But we'll, we have all of them because usually I make uh, dresses, tops, pants, backpacks. So it'll all be listed down in a big file uh, if you want to make loads of clothing textures in one file, in one mod. Uh, this should do now though camo test 
data camo test hoodie r camo co paa hit save um of course i'll supply you with this as well as a download so you can copy paste this this script but i would i would um as, as always recommend learning a little bit of this and what it means so bracket semicolon to close off open bracket close bracket etc what the class is the class is the name that daisy recognizes for the color base uh, hoodie color base or it would be uh jeans color base or mountain color base for a mountain backpack we can close that before we forget let's go to our daisy folder quickly and i'll show you where you can get the classes from uh which i think it's in add-ons and then there should be or is it in the gear, tops one i can't remember where it is now I think it's in here. There it is, config.bin. So if you want to, you can uh, drag that out, convert it to a, a CPP, and then find the class name that you want. So if you drag it to somewhere safe, and then you use the tools to convert it to a CPP, you just drag that bin once you've uh, copied it out of there. And then if you open it in your preferred thing, you can see mountain bag is the color class for mountain bag. Hoodie is hoodie and uh, bear is for bear baseball cap for baseball cap and things like that and then you copy that and put that as your color 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 base so it will work uh, otherwise it won't recognize it as what it is so it won't work for, for, for what it is you know what i mean does that make sense camo you know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna i'm just gonna copy copy that into there as well just to have our texture in there as well just as reference and um just for you guys when i pack it up um, now we want to go to add-on builder in our daisy tools bin folder open add-on builder now i've done all this already um this will all be set up for for the camo test uh, so what you want to do is just your desktop camo test which is that and then your output will be your steam library common daisy at camo test add-ons which is where this is all packed to in the pbo and then um, once you've done your your directories just pack and it'll pack it it'll tell you if there's any massive errors it won't work and tell you what what it is that's causing you an issue but that's packed okay so now we can close that and if we go to our daisy folder now we should have camo test add-ons camo test pbo we can open that with the pbo manager and we have our, our camo png paa config.bin.cpp text headers which it creates and that should now work in game, should. So we want the name of our mod folder. So we'll copy at camo test. And I would recommend using the offline community mode by Arkansas, Danny Dog and Jacob Mango. You can spawn in the item to make sure it actually works in game. You want to right click on the dot bat file, which is where you launch to go into offline mode, edit. And at the end, you want to add your mod. So here I've already added the Xmas set, which is on the workshop for anybody to use on their servers for the Xmas period, and our camo test, which just references our folders for our mod. Save it, close it, and then run the bat. And if all goes well, we should be able to go into the object spawner and spawn our new retextured modded gear. Once we've loaded into the offline community mode, we press Y to bring up our menu, go to objects, and let's type in hoodie. And we should see in the list our red camo and also our green camo that i made previously so let's spawn that on the ground there it is on the ground let's put it on and there we go there is our hoodie we know it works it looks okay on our character get a bit of a lit up area there get the sun on our back the next step is getting it working server side which i'll show you the changes to the types.xml and then if we know it's working on server side we can send it to the workshop and to get this to work in our server to spawn in the loot tables right we need to go into mp missions in our daisy server into the mission file db for database types.xml open that in your preferred text editor and then we need to find so the easy way to do that is find our hoodies which we found there and then we want to just remember just just copy that i think that's how we do it and then we want to space there we do it now we need to end that as well so we need to make sure we got that at the end as well i think that's right 
So you did need to copy all of that. And then paste. Just make sure it's all the same. So we've got two black hoodies. Make sure that's that's the end of that type. With the dash type, that's the start. And then the end. Cl opening that item, closing that item. Make sure that's opening that item, close that item. So that's the same. And then we've got hoodie black. So we've got two hoodie blacks. We don't want that. So we want to get rid of that title, which is what that will be calling to to spawn. And the title for our camo hoodie will be what we've called our PPA or PNG. So we copy that and put that in there. That's our camo. And then we can, we could, let's, let's do this again. Look, let's put both in just quickly. Paste another one and then we get rid of our camo. So we got our, our camo, red camo and our normal camo spawning. Now let's go over this, uh, these, these nominals. Nominal is the nominal amount that will spawn over time. So that will build up to 70 items of camo. And then this is the minimum it will start with 40 and uh lifetime is just the, uh, the the long the length it will live on the server before despawning so 5600 seconds whatever that is in minutes and uh yeah that's pretty much it so if you want more to spawn you can raise these numbers if you want less to spawn to be more rarer you just change those so we'll leave those as default for now and then we'll go for a journey on our server and see if we can find them um of course make sure you double check you've got your open close open close open close open correctly so nothing happens wrong and if you have a simple typo in this a simple little typo everything won't work you'll get zombies not spawning you'll get loot not spawning it, you may think it's working okay and it'll load into game but you'll get nothing spawning on your server so you have to be very very careful now once that's done we save our types.xml um so what we'll do now uh, in fact okay is go over signing our our mod and getting the keys ready so they work on the server so let's do that because I, I forgot about the keys we're getting a bit excited we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves so if we go back into daisy tools bin we can ds tools create a key okay now i've created my keys already but what you want to do is create a key with your i send my documents to aren't i I'm going all over the place here. That's the wrong place. Shadow play, Steam, Common, uh, Daisy Server. Go into Camo Test, Add-ons, and you drag your Camo Test PBO, or whatever you've called it, onto your Create Key. Then that'll create your keys, which will be your whatever you uh, whatever you decide here. Now you can also do this by launching DS Tools, which is this is how I did it. And you open this and I called it Falcon, pointed it to my Xmas, but you can obviously change that to whatever mod you're doing. But that was for my Xmas mod and um, create a key <clears throat> for the PPO that's in that, that, that folder. Okay. So once you've done that, you want to sign your key. So it, once you've created your keys as well, you'll be able to use those for, for whatever. Now we need to sign our mod, which I believe... We need our, our private key for which we need to point the DS utils to. So if we go to our private key, which will be on my desktop, Daisy Signatures private key, which you do not share. Do not share your private key to anybody. So DS utils, and this should sign our key. We drag in our camo from our server in our thing, signed files, process files. Bam! It's signed, okay? Yeah, we want that key as well in our server keys. But you need to, what you want to do is pack all of this in your mod. So when server owners download it, they can get that key from your key folder. Um, that's why we put it in. That's why we put it into uh, into there. So they can go into keys, copy that into their own server keys folder. That's why that's in there. So we've just done that. Put it into our server keys. So we've got our Daisy key, the main one, and our Falcon key. Uh, we'll open Steam just quickly. For the testing purposes of your mod on your LAN server, Enter these launch parameters into your Daisy server and also the dash mod equals at camo set or whatever you've decided to call your mod in your Daisy launch parameters as well for the client side to be able to join and launch the server with those mods enabled. Also, make sure that your at camo set is located in your Daisy server root, the same as it is for your Daisy root folder for the client side. So server is fine. Let's just double check that and we'll grab the mod because we need to launch that as well with our client um which i totally forgot thank you thank you thank you thank you um 
Now let us launch our server again. All uh, right, bear with me a second. We'll get there. Oh, yeah, uh, custom buildings. Uh, that's the thing. Um, that'll be one of my future tutorials, adding custom buildings to your server. That was just a test. Uh, apparently, it's still there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, now we're in our server. We've got to look for our hoodie. Minimum of 40, yeah. So we should take... Oh, there, straight away. Look at that. Server side. Server. Can we test? So our server side, what we've had there, and we know it works and spawns. Camo test. Go in there. We've got our key in there. That's ready to pack. And what we will do then is go to our Steam apps, common Daisy tools again in the bin. And this is where we want the publisher we mentioned at the beginning an open publisher. So you want the, the visibility to be uh, public if you want everybody to use it. If you just want it private for your own use on your server, you do private, friends, etc. So we want public. Uh, this is one I did earlier. This is what I prepared earlier, my Xmas sweaters. This is on the workshop for anybody to use. It's public, mod, put in some tags there. And we did the, that's where you put your folder for your mod. Um, well, I'll set it all up with a new one. And then that is my description. So I've got links to my Discord, Twitter, blah, blah, blah. There, the, uh, the details you put in your types.xml. So if we want to do our new one, uh, what we've got there is name by Sipfig Falcon. So we can do camo test. Um, do some tags so just press ok you got a couple of tags in there then you want your mod content which is your folder on your server side so we go to server falcon just select that folder so it's at camo test it's all been signed because we signed it with our keys so that's all good then we can add A little a little description you can add links so you can link to um anything you want people to download or go to your uh just go to the uh Bohemia interactive studio or change that for, for whatever you want and then i agree and publish just publish and that'll go straight to the steam workshop and then when you go into the uh workshop you can go to your workshop files and there's my Christmas mod that I added which we again looked at earlier we see the file size only a small three and a half meg added on the 6th of December updated on the 8th of December because I made a huge mistake <laughs> and there's my description with my links that you just click and the links are all also there and then we've got some comments and uh, developer comments and stuff like that you can do and um yeah it was just a quick christmas christmas mod i put on for anybody to use so that's pretty much it that's 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 that we've covered everything to summarize we have extracted our texture our paa we've made it into a png with text view we've edited it and made a nice texture we've then changed it back to a paa with the daisy tools We've then made our folder with all our mods in our config.cpp with our correct scripting in which of course i will provide all of this to you guys to play around with for some reason the hoodie we do need this uh for the sweaters we didn't need any of this that should help you guys with some modding getting all sexy 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 so i won't upload this of course because it's, it's purely just a few of my own uh hoodies that i've made um with my name on so i won't do that because that's a bit shitty uh <laughs> i just feel wrong doing that so i won't put that up but i will package everything uh that we've done today on stream uh, and this will all be in the youtube video as well so hello from the past everybody watching this on youtube and hopefully you guys uh can figure this out uh hopefully i've not missed anything major hopefully i've pointed you in the right direction so you can at least test with clothing at first and we will do more tutorials and guides in the future with other things. I want to do some trainers. We'll try some maybe weapon camos. Maybe get some, uh, I don't know, some camoed M4s in there. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to eat some hobnobs. So I'll be back while this is loading.
right now let us press y to bring up our spawn menu our admin tools and go to falcon again which will find our hoodie and we'll spawn on the ground this time and it's still invisible what the fuck is that invisible the actual fuck 